met a gypsy. So what are you thinking when you're on the bike riding style wise? Like, what are you trying to do? Like when you, when you're in a moto and what you're I'm thinking like, in the moto. what, like what, what is good to you? What's good riding to you? Like, cause I, I'm, I'm training right now and I'm doing my most riding I've ever done. And I'll be like, I'll do a 20 and then I'll be like, for my second lap's always my fastest lap. The second. Every, every moto, my second lap. And, but it's not like the other laps are super shit. But for whatever reason, second lap I'm in. And then, but it never feels like my fastest lap. The other yeah, laps because after you, feel... Because you're, you're fresh, you know? So yeah. it, it happens also to us, you know? Like when you're fresh, even if you go like, oh, full gas and you have that extra, you know what I mean? Um, but back to your question, I think, I think about just trying to ride effortless so i'm a rider that i don't use so much power to ride i mean i don't oh it's I crazy never, to like, hear your bike when you're riding i never attack too much the corners but i am also not super aggressive on the throttle yeah it's just a combination of rolling a little bit but at the same time um playing a little bit with the track finding lines where i will not have that kicking from the bike or i will feel like i don't need to use so much effort and too much energy mm -hmm. so i just from lap one thinking every corner every straight every jump where can i go that it's will make me faster but at the same time it will make me go like faster for a longer time so that makes me go like with less energy that's all every lap from the whole moto every single lap every single bump every single corner Thing, I think that so where can I go I come into the corner okay I didn't like this so I remember next lap I need to try something else or just slightly different not maybe a big change just something different maybe I need to put the front end so the front wheel in a different place or maybe I need to jump these two jumps two uh, bumps so I can make the speed later on but sometimes also you need you need to go through the line that makes you more tired for a minute to make that gap or yeah. to make yeah that difference you know because sometimes the tough line is, is the, the fast is line. the fast line and yeah. this happens a lot in the sand so um so yeah you're thinking about also writing technique i'm always thinking about that also in training mm -hmm. like come on i stay on the pegs ah, i need to put my my feet in a better position ah this lap i made a small, small mistake maybe because i was laying it too much in the front uh maybe because i used too much front brake whatever i just think all the time and just try to get better no that's yeah. why we do it too yeah to get better yeah yeah because i think that there's there's certain cues in your mind i think when you start to nail certain things and you start to like get into a rhythm oh, there, and you're picking there are some lines laps that you're like oh, i don't know what i'm doing like so good like like flowing you know and then suddenly you make small mistake and it's not flowing anymore so yeah. then you need to try to flow again and that's hard and again and you're getting to the rhythm and that makes it special too this is motocross every lap is different then the perfect line breaks and then you need to build another one but mm. till it's not good you are fighting with that corner every lap every lap and you're angry you know because you're not flowing you're using more energy again so it's just the balance of um yeah riding smooth and uh, thinking you you need to ride by like thinking what you're doing you're yeah. not just riding with throttle and just trying to go fast with no sense. There is a sense, you know, you ride and you try to do everything safe also. I'm not a rider that risks my life and to get one second or half a second in one corner or in one jump. I, If it's going to be risky, I don't yeah. do it. I yeah. take it easy. I don't, I spent already a lot of time in hospitals and recovering. I don't want to do that anymore. And many of those times are not even because I was risking. So I even want to avoid that. Yeah, even like, more. Yeah, even more. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, no, because it's, uh, it's, it's definitely been... It's been cool to experience riding as much as I have this year because I think it's given me... Yeah, I've always started, you know, love the sport and I've always been so into the sport. But I think once you can really like really start riding a lot and it's you different. probably like you told me before it's the first time in your life that you're riding more often and you're training and you can see your progression right mm. for me right now it's very 
I can feel my progression, but it's very small steps. Like maybe it's just the entry of the corner a little bit faster. And then you're like, oh, maybe I was a bit faster than yesterday. Yeah, maybe, or maybe not. <laughs> you know, it's, it's hard to say, but with you, you have like a bigger range of improvement and, um, and quicker, like you can mm. get to like a better level. Maybe in two weeks, you're much faster than you were yesterday. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's cool. That's a cool thing about Marcus too, you know, that uh, today I can't make the tabletop. I maybe in two weeks I can make it, you know? And then you f like, you like it because you are, you see yourself improving. That's cool, right? Oh, a hundred percent. And it just gives you such like a, such a more respect for you guys. Like, not that I ever thought I didn't have respect, but I think that it's, you just get even more. And like, yeah. even the, like one thing that's really been crazy for me is like my perspective on privateers that do it all themselves because yeah. like essentially i'm just a privateer with a job yeah. <laughs> that's trying to ride like three four days a week wash yeah, my bike lot, eh? change the filters change you the ride oil. a lot actually right at the moment yeah yeah three four days is like a pro yeah yeah and i'm sore every day and you gotta <laughs> get up and i'm like running when i'm sore and then i'm like oh i ran Oh, I ran on Saturday morning before I went to Glen Helen. <laughs> so I ran. I did. It was only like a 25 minute run. And then I did that, got to Glen Helen and at, you were at 12 o'clock in that, like in the afternoon. I was the last person on the track <laughs> and I was fucking rinsed <laughs> by the end of the day. I was so beat. But I'm just like, man, these guys are savages. Like what they go through. And I'm not even doing. You know, like I, I did a 30 and two 15s. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty weak in the, you know, in the big picture. But what you guys do and the lengths that you go to improve is just, it's it's insane. Yeah, and it also comes with the physical training. You know, I think many times we can improve a lot because we get better in the physical side. Um, also by doing more laps and a good speed um, makes you, you know, understand better um, how you ride and, and makes you uh, search new limits um when you can only do it for two laps it's it's hard to like, yeah oh so step it up so true when you can do it 15 minutes a very good pace or whatever 30 minutes um 30 minutes all the time searching for a limit it's it's not the same as just two laps searching for a limit right it's so that's honestly so true and i think for anyone that wants to get better at riding that was the thing that that helped me so like i went to have, have you ever rode in dubai no dude the track there if you ever get to ride there fuck it. i actually have a gas gas 450 <laughs> if you ever want to ride it in dubai if you ever do a stopover but i bought a bike there we were there for like three or four months at the start of the year and um and i just put my watch on my handlebars and 20 minutes i'd stop and dude at the start like it's the track is seven kilometers long jeffrey's actually been there before seven kilometers long i've just the dry desert sand and it's all whooped out all up and down dunes like i had two huge crashes the first week i rode there because i fucking forgot where i was yes yeah, so like i just it's so i long. just yeah couldn't remember i thought i was that there was like a dune that you uh, that i jumped to the right because i thought it was a right hand <laughs> turn i just jumped sideways into a set of sand whoops but that like the progression that you can make from basically like i'd put my i'd put the stopwatch on for 20 minutes and I'd do like a lap and just be completely cooked. Like my tongue's in the back sprocket. And and then you slowly start to make the 20 minute mark. And then you, once you can be on the bike for 20 minutes and then do it again, that's like 40 minutes of doing yeah. a, a fast, like, you know, trying yeah. to put in. You can learn so much more about your riding and how to improve yep. by just being on the track for a longer period of time. And I think like the at Glen Helen the other day, I was the last person out there. It was the very end of the day. It was a Saturday, the race is coming up. So the track was beat and it was dry. And at the end of the moto or like with, you know, a few laps in, you start to see your one line coming up and you're like bringing the moisture yeah, out of it. It's yeah. like the coolest, the coolest feeling. And so, yeah, it's like just being out there, being in in the game as long as yep. you can. That's the thing that gives you so much more improvement. Yeah. Yeah. That's also, I mean, with us too, you know, when you're riding, you always need to try and, and think when you're on the bike and ride with the head and just try to, to see where you can get better because 
I think it's something that the rider needs to feel too, you know? Yeah. Um, sometimes you're getting into a corner and you feel like that's your limit and it's like, all right, if that's my limit, I will search it somewhere else, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And it will, it will take some time and, and then uh, maybe whatever, more time ahead, uh, maybe you can get faster into the corner because you feel more comfortable. So sometimes also you need to know very good your limits and, and if you feel like you're already like on your maximum, just take it easy, you know, don't yeah. risk it. I mean, motocross, we all know it's, um, it's a very, yeah, for injuries and stuff, it's a difficult sport, it's dangerous. So we also need to think good when we ride and be clear, you know, a clear mind when we are riding. We are excited to announce the launch of our new membership site, gypsytales.com, packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else. This is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang. And as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125, Gypsy Gang.